another mask and take treasures. First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and... Huh? Leave me a comment if you like. Today, we're not going to be making anything, but we're going to be painting this butterfly. We're going to paint this butterfly. These are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need paint brushes, acrylic paint, and uh oh, paper plate. Play it again, Sam. <laughs> and, and no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with orange. I, I'm starting mine with orange, but y'all can paint your any color you want. Butterflies are one of the most. They're one of the most colorful things out there. They have the most colors in them. They're something like flowers. So we're going to put a little orange in here. Take our paintbrush and we're just going to paint. Just paint like this. Ain't none to it but to do it. See that? Then we're going to do another one over here. Same. But like I'm saying, you can do it your, your way. You can do it my way. All right. Now we're gonna go to the bottom, do the, the bottom the same way. Then we're gonna do the other side. You gotta do both sides. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Yeah. Butterflies are very kind of beautiful. And they're very delicate. I don't know if any of y'all ever tried to catch a butterfly. But... When you caught them, it died. So I stopped trying to catch butterflies. You know? Yeah, it's terrible. It died. Okay, there you go. We got both the, both the sides done. Now, what I do... I come with black. Let's see, is this the black? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a black down there. Now, usually I use the same brush because the black is going to override whatever color you mix it with unless you you use it real thin so just gonna go just like this wells see that right at the top then we're gonna come down with it 
come straight on down. See that? Look cool, don't it? All right. Take more black. And do the bottom. Okay. And... We're just going to go over all of them, just the same. We're going to do front and back. Yeah, when you try to catch a butterfly, you end up killing them. They are very delicate. But they have defenses. They have a powdery substance on their wing that kind of irritates the mucous membranes. That's if a bird should get one and try to eat it. That's why you don't see too many birds or you don't see too many animals messing with butterflies. They got that defense. All right, they got a, a defense and to protect themselves. All right, we're going to go on the edge of here. Just go right around the edges. See that? Now let's do the other side. Try not to touch. Touch on the inside. Now I'm going to, have to get another brush because all right. No, no, I don't. All right. Now we're going to go with this side. We're going to put black. Make sure you do both sides, unless you're going to put it on the wall or something. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're just going to have one side showing, you got to do both sides. I know that you don't feel like doing it sometimes, but something that's got to be done, got to be done. Got to be done. Yeah, it's cool, though. Yep, like I told y'all, in one of my previous videos people would used to ask me to make a butterfly all the time and I used to tell them ah no I don't make butterflies because I couldn't get them right you know I thought that you know I couldn't get that delicate look to it But as soon as I made one, I said, man, is that all? Sure, I could have been making money. <laughs> I could have been making money. But I started selling them anyway. When I made my first butterfly, it was just a rough draft, a butterfly. But it looked real, really good. And I sold it. Then that's when I started creating butterflies. Another thing, too, dragonflies. I never would make a dragonfly because, once again, their wings are delicate and transparent. 
and masking tape ain't transparent. So, so I couldn't figure it out. I said, man, what, what can I do instead of doing it transparent? Then it came to me. Actually, it came to me in a dream. All right, there you go. Now we're going to paint the body. Now we got to make the body a little different color. So we're going to make this almost a brownish, like brownish. So we're going to just dip a little bit blue into the orange and go over the body. Of course, you could do the uh, body black. Or any color you want. Like I said, they come in a variety of colors. A variety of colors. A lot of colors in the rainbow, in the spectrum. A lot of colors. They come in a lot of colors. I've seen purple butterflies, violet color butterflies, white, black, polka dot, some of everything. That's the diversity of butterflies. Yeah, and I used to think butterflies couldn't defend themselves. All they can do is fly away. Yes, but butterflies don't have a stinger or they don't have teeth. They got a long proboscis, uh, a long tongue, you know, and it comes out and they eat nectar. See that? All right. Now let's get the markings on. Now, with the back of the brush, we want to just go around, just go around circle. We don't want to do nothing drastic, but just make a circle, make a circle like that, okay? Then go on the other side, do the same thing. Just make your circle. And we'll come back to that later. Make a circle. Make two circles like that. Okay, then we want to go to the bottom and just make a circle there, anywhere you want. But just get it close to the bottom of the uh, wing. Get it close to the bottom. There you go. Now we're going to go to the other side. Now, if you take your wing, you can see through it on the, the, uh, the back side. So try to go over the circle on the other side. It's kind of transparent. If it's not, if you can't see through it, just put it up to the light. Just want to make another circle back here. And see this. There we go. Just want to just go around, make a circle. See? Circle. And go to the bottom. Oh my 
my goodness. I don't want to smear this. Okay. Make our circle. And All right. Now, we got it now. Now we want to touch up right on the edges. Right where you can see the tape. All right. Okay, now, now, we want to, see, I don't like that. It looks a little too raggedy, so we want to paint over the raggediness. Okay. Now, inside of that circle, we want to put white and keep that white there because we're going to utilize that white. Go inside the circle with white. Just dot it like so. Just dot it in there. Dot, 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 dot. That way you won't mess up and go outside the holes. Okay? So go inside the black. See? Go inside the black. Go to the other side. Dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot 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 just go in a circle dot in a circle sorry y'all I want to show y'all but I can't hold the other side All right, now you want to take the back of the brush and just go with dots. See, these little ticks that you put on here creates an illusion like it's really a wing. You see those spots? You see, see how I, I did it? When you put those spots on it, it creates an illusion. It makes you, you know, makes it look real like a wing. You can do this with uh, black. If you got an all white butterfly, you can just do black ticks or Either if you got a white one, you can do red ticks. You can do any combination. So we're just going to dot them all on here. See, look at that. See there? Just want to dot around
get the bottom just want to dot all over the bottom part don't dot in into the orange though just on the black all right just want to finish this off got a few more to go and we got to do the other side though okay now we got to do the other side Just dot on it. Go any way you want to. Sure. You don't have to worry about being uniformed and doing it perfect because they're not perfect in nature. If you look real close at the markings on a butterfly, some of them may be off. If you want to be real technical with it. Yeah. It's not perfect. So feel free to go where no man has gone before. Go ahead and do it. Just want to get those dots all the way around. Only on the black part. Just want to go on around. And just going to get those dots put on there. Be careful so you won't smear. Okay. There you go. All right. Now we got that. And you can just touch up. With your orange. All right. all right and there you have it there's our butterfly both sides see it's easy oh man Whew. yes that was easy Story time. This story time is called The Curse of the Little Rascals. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if any, any of you heard of The Little Rascals or our game. It was it was a very well put together little shorts they were shorts short films they were put together well
but it was old in a mug. It was old. It was old. But they were funny. They were funny. They were uh there was 176 rascals in all in the whole series for 221 films that they they did. So it was 221 films. I was fortunate to have all the films before. I had them on DVD. But unfortunately somebody stole them. You know, some some people never even heard of it. So I don't know who got it, but hey, I I pretty much know who got it, but I'm I I don't know. I I didn't see them and I didn't know, and they wasn't the only ones around, so I can't accuse somebody like that, you know. So I I get another one one day. It was a box set. It was all of the little rascals, all of them, all of them, all two hundred and twenty one of them. Okay. The uh, there was uh, there's only uh, I think it was it's only one still alive now. One of the little rascals is still alive, and that's Robert Blake Beretta. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Yes, yeah, Beretta. I vaguely remember Beretta, but I remember it. Uh, I'm, I don't think I remember, well, I don't, I don't know. I remember seeing Beretta. It was a long time ago. I was a shawty then, but yeah, Robert Blake was one of the rascals. His name was Mickey, Mickey something, but he was, that he was the, he wasn't the only Mickey on there. There was another one. There was Mickey Daniels, too. So, yeah. Uh, and Jackie Cooper. Jackie Cooper. Jackie Cooper uh, played on a lot of movies and, st and stuff. So, those were the only two that survived out of 170-something of, of the Blue Rascals. They all... They said that, that it was... Uh, uh curse on them but look at look at when they came out they they started the rascals in 1922 okay and they ended the rascals in 1944 so in those times back then it was hard to live especially during the great depression it was hard to live okay so they had it they was it was terrible. Now they had three black ones on there, black little kids on the on the little rascals. There there was uh Buckwheat, Stymie, no four, Buckwheat, Sa Sunshine, Sammy, Stymie, and Farina. Now Farina was the only one to make $350 a week. The rest of the little rascals made $100 a week. For real. Can you imagine that? Getting paid $100 a week? But Farina was the only black actor on the little rascals who, who got $350 a week. That's crazy. But tragically, he died of uh, cancer. Farina died of cancer. He was uh, 59 years old. 59. He lived a, a while. He lived a while, you know. Then there was Alfalfa. Alfalfa was the one with the, the little thing on, on his head. His, that little thing sticking up. Learn to crawl. Yo, whisper, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, he, he used to always sing off beat and stuff like that, off time. And he, his voice was, you know, I guess his voice was changing, you know. Yeah, Alfalfa, he was uh, the star 
like one of the stars of the show. It was Alfalfa, it was Spanky, and Darla, and Buckwheat. Those were all stars, but Alfalfa was the main one. And it showed, too, because he got cocky. He got cocky. He was cocky on the set. He would tell them what he ain't going to do, and then he'd sit there with his arms folded and then run around just tearing things up and, and everything like that. He he lived that whole that life his whole life, you know. When he got older, they did, uh, he was in that movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Okay, he was in, in It's a Wonderful Life in the beginning of it when they were dancing, you know, out there dancing and the, and the floor opened up and the pool was there and they fell in the pool. Alfalfa was in that movie. Yeah. But shortly after that, that had to be. So whenever they made It's a Wonderful Life, I guess they made that in the 30s or something. No, it wasn't 30s. It was in the 40s. 40 something or 50 something they made that and look alfalfa started uh oh excuse me He's, he, alfalfa started training dogs hunting dogs to to hunt bears and stuff you know deers and stuff like that so he claimed that this guy had lost his dog and he wanted fifty dollars for the dog so the guy ain't paid up he ain't pay up so alfalfa went to his crib and started threatening him and the guy said hey man i ain't i, I don't i shouldn't have to pay you fifty dollars for him man when when the dog ran away you know so alfalfa stole on him and they start fighting so the guy broke away i guess alfalfa was getting the best of him Cause Alfalfa was, he was something with himself. He he would start something in a minute, and he was alcoholic and everything, you know. So the guy got up and went in the bedroom. That's a no no. Alfalfa shouldn't have let him go to the bedroom. He went in the bedroom and he came out with a thirty eight. He came out with a thirty eight, and told Alfalfa he's gonna blow blow his brains out. He told him this. What you think Alfalfa did? He pulled, Alfalfa pulled out a knife and went towards the guy and the guy blew him away. Blew him away. Shot him in the chest. And Alfalfa bled, bled out before the, the ambulance got there. It's terrible. Now, uh, Weez, no, not Weez, uh, uh, Froggy. Froggy had that voice, that Popeye, blah, 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 you know, like Popeye. Froggy, uh, he was a, a character. He came in late, later than he he came in around the around the late thirties, forty. Froggy came in, and Froggy had a funny voice. With with just his voice, he was getting a lot of praise for his voice he sound like popeye you know like that you know i like that so froggy he kind of outgrowed you know he out outgrowed you know he they started growing the little rascals started growing he wasn't little rascals no more you know so he ended up uh, getting little odd jobs, getting little odd jobs and stuff like that. So he he ended up uh, getting a paper route. That's back when they were delivering papers, you know. So he had got a paper route. So him and a friend was on the back of his scooter. He had an electric scooter. Uh, no, it wasn't electric. It was gas scooter. So they were bopping along down the street. And then this truck hit him. Bang! Hit hit him. His friend got away up unscathed. His he had so you know minus bruises and stuff on him, but that was it for Froggy. 
He was gone. It's terrible. Now, Darla. Darla. Well, I think uh, Froggy, Froggy was 16 years old when he died. So that's that's tragedy. That's tragedy. Now, Darla was the, the little girl on there. She uh, mostly liked Alfalfa. Then sometimes she liked Spanky. She was a flirt. She was a flirt. But she kind of remind me of Shirley Temple. Y'all probably don't remember Shirley Temple, but look, Shirley Temple auditioned for a part in The Little Rascals. You know what? They turned her down. They didn't even hire her. And Mickey Rooney. You probably don't know Mickey Rooney either. He, I think he played in this thing called Boys Town or something like that. But Mickey Rooney was, was a good good actor i would have thought he was on would have been on the little rascals but they didn't want him either they came out to be really big stars mickey rooney and shirley temple but they were all both denied from the our game little rascal saga okay next was darla darla when she got older she did some dancing and she did some little little parts and movies and stuff like that but she was getting ready to prepare a reunion a little rascals reunion and she got uh her side was was she was in pain so she went to the doctor and found out that she had acute appendicitis okay from the appendicitis, they they went in and took her appendix out. But inadvertently, when they took her appendix out, they ended up giving her a transfusion, a blood transfusion that had hepatitis in there, which she contracted and she died of heart failure. She died of heart failure. She was 47 years old. 47. Yep. And uh, who else we got? Chubby, Chubby, y'all, y'all don't. Remember. <laughs> it was a, a a little fat dude on that named Chubby. He stayed on there for. He came in like uh right around in the thirties, nineteen thirties something, maybe the late thirties. Chubby came in, and he was pretty good. He was pretty good, but. He, he was growing too fast. He was growing too fast. So he got out off the little rascals and he was always overweight, overweight. So they found out it was a glandular problem. They, he had uh, problems with his glands and stuff like that. So uh, Chubby uh, was 21 years old when he died from complications of a operation an operation to try to stop his glandular problem but he died ended up dying that's crazy there was a guy called scotty on there too scotty scotty i, I forget his last name but scotty when he got off the rascals he became a straight up alcoholic straight up alcoholic and he was it was he was terrible he was uh terrible and stuff like that but he ended up some guy beat him to death some guy beat him i guess he was drunk and talking crazy you know how people get but some guy beat him to death uh how old was he he was uh scotty i don't know how old he was i don't know how old he was he was young pretty young though but he 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 was an alcoholic. Then there was uh, Mickey Daniels. Mickey Daniels. Mickey Daniels. Little Mickey on there, on the Little Rascals. He was he was pretty good. He wasn't as known as Spanky and Alfalfa and all of them, but he was he was pretty 
pretty well known. But he died he, of alcoholism too. He, he was an alcoholic. He died of cirrhosis of the liver. And he was age 55. 50, 55. He died of cirrhosis of the liver. And he was homeless too. So this is the curse they were talking about. Everybody was, it was tragedy for most of them. It was even, even tragedy for uh, Beretta, Robert Blake. He got locked up for his wife's death, but he got acquitted. He got acquitted right around the time OJ got acquitted. And he did the right thing. He stayed out of the limelight. Stayed out of the limelight. But Mickey Rooney, I mean, Robert Blake, I think he's going to start acting. I think he's going to do another acting thing. Uh, his last one. I think he's like 80-something years old. But he still look good. He still been, you know, keeping in shape and stuff like that. So I guess he he did something good, but because he's the last one standing. Now maybe there was later. The the little rascals after 1944. Those are the only episodes I saw re, reburns of. But the new little rascals, they didn't jump off too good. They didn't sit too well. Not in my book. You know. Well, that's it. Yeah. That, that, I'm, I got to get that box set again. If you get the opportunity, maybe you can look it up on YouTube. The uh, Our Gang, Little Rascals, episodes. They'll have, they'll, I'm sure they'll have it on there. You'll really enjoy it. But, you know, it was like racial stuff back then. That was in Jim Crow. Jim Crow era and stuff like that. But the, those little rascals, they all played together. That's the way this world was supposed to be. They played together. The black ones, the ones who were Jewish and everything, they all played together. Even though some of those skits, some of those short moves, films they did they would twist stuff up in uh uh buckwheat's hair and stuff like that or have them hold holding a watermelon talking about boy i sure is hungry mm. you know bucking their eyes and stuff they they had them to do that but off the off the scene when they like off the set they all played together Black, white, no, no matter what they were, they all played together. Yep. Okay. Thanks for viewing my Masking Tape Treasures. Make sure you like, subscribe, and... What? Leave me a comment if you like. <laughs> and hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a film. And share, share, share. Share my videos so that everyone, everyone can get this Mask and Tape Treasures experience, okay? All right. Peace. Adios.